Hey there, welcome to DIY Projects with Pete. I'm your host DIY Pete out in Bozeman, Montana, and today I'm going to show you how to take an old, boring, gray concrete patio and to turn it into a work of art using acid stain. This is a great project, it's affordable, and it's easy to do. So let's go ahead and look at some of the tools and supplies you'll need for today's project. You're going to want to pick up or borrow a pressure washer to clean the existing concrete, protective equipment like rubber gloves, eye protection, pants, and boots so you don't get any acid stain on yourself. You're also going to want to protect things like siding on your home using paper or plastic masking and some tape. We're going to apply the acid stain today using a pump sprayer. We're going to fill that pump sprayer with acid stain. Acid stain is a lot of times hard to find at just your normal hardware store, so you'll probably need to contact your local concrete supply store or to order it online. There's a lot of different brands and colors to choose from, so take your time to find the best fit for you. Once that stain is applied, we're going to eventually neutralize it, and we're going to do that using some ammonia or baking soda mixed with some water in a five gallon bucket. Once that's all dry, we'll go ahead and seal the concrete using an oil-based concrete sealer. This is a simple DIY project that you can accomplish, so let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The first step is to clean your patio, and a pressure washer works great for this process and helps remove the dirt and debris really quickly. Once the concrete is wet, you will be able to see the problem areas a lot easier, and then we can work on getting rid of those. A concrete cleaner and degreaser is going to help remove those stubborn grease and dirty areas on the patio. So pour the degreaser around the entire patio, paying most attention to the problem areas because the acid stain is not going to react with the concrete if it's covered by the oil or grease. So just make sure to remove as much as possible. Finish cleaning the patio and then we can use other methods if paint or other stains need to be removed. I had a few paint drips and some wood stain a couple places on the patio. And so a razor blade and wire brush and a little bit of paint remover can help remove the stains. Now the ridges in the broomed concrete finish can make it a bit of a challenge. So another method is to let the concrete dry and then to use an orbital sander. And if you still have trouble, a wet polisher can either be rented or purchased. And this is going to take care of the paint or wood stain quite easily. Give the concrete a final rinse to finish with the concrete cleaning prep and then let the area dry a bit and tape and mask the siding and trim to prevent stain from getting on it. The next step is to prepare the pump sprayers for the staining process. First, fill one sprayer with water. This is going to be used to dampen the concrete prior to staining. Fill the second pump sprayer with the acid stain now make sure you are wearing your protective gear whenever dealing with the stain. I'm using a dark walnut stain and diluting it with water, about one part stain to about two parts water. Now I like to dilute the stain so that I can get the correct shade I'm going for. And if the first coat isn't dark enough, I can always do a second coat. But if it's not diluted, it can go on darker than you want it to and you won't be able to lighten up, which is why I recommend diluting and then doing multiple coats if needed. Use the pump sprayer filled with water to dampen the concrete prior to applying the stain. This will help the stain go on a little more evenly and it's going to make the concrete more forgiving in case you accidentally get any stain drips and such on the concrete. Saturate the concrete just enough, but not so much that it puddles. Also remember to do the vertical surfaces that you'll be staining. Once you've finished applying the water, start the acid staining process. I like to do the vertical surfaces first. Then move on to the main surface of the concrete. Give the pump sprayer filled with the acid stain a few pumps and then begin the application. Move from one side of the patio to the other and I generally apply the stain in a circular or a zigzag pattern to give the finished look some variation. Make sure to saturate the concrete but not to create puddles. Take your time with the process, moving back and forth and always keeping a wet edge. You'll want to make sure you don't step in the stain since it can leave a footprint mark and also try not to get stain drips on the concrete. Here's an up close shot showing the variation in the spraying technique, moving in that zigzag or circular like motion. 
Continue staining the concrete until you have the first coat completed, then let it dry completely. Now here's a photo of the concrete after the first coat. It's dried, and to test what it's going to look like when sealed, you can mist a little water, and the stain will actually darken up similar to how it's going to look when the sealer is applied. I decided I wanted to go a little darker with the stain, and so I applied a second coat. Apply the second coat similar to how you sprayed on the first coat. For those of you who want less variation in the stain, I wanted to show an example of the brushing technique. So while spraying, a second person can use a broom and lightly brush the stain into the surface in a circular motion. Or if you're on your own, you can simply work in small sections by spraying and then grabbing the broom to quick sweep it in. This will give the stain a more uniform look and you'll definitely want to do this on both coats if you want less variation. Let the second coat dry completely. I'd recommend letting it sit for at least eight hours to ensure the stain penetrates into the surface of the concrete entirely. So take a break to do some other projects or just relax. I had a few brats in the fridge, so I decided to have a little snack. After letting the stain sit, neutralize the acid stain by mixing two cups of ammonia into a five gallon bucket filled with water, and then pour the bucket evenly over the patio. The ammonia mixture is going to neutralize the acid so it will no longer react with the concrete. And then you'll want to use a shop broom or a brush to lightly remove any residue from the surface and then rinse with the hose. I like to repeat this process a couple times to ensure all the residue is removed completely. When all the residue is removed, the water runoff will be pretty clear. The concrete needs to dry completely before it is sealed. Drying time is going to depend on the conditions, but wait a minimum of at least a few hours. I let mine sit overnight and then I came back Sunday morning to seal it. Before sealing, use a broom to remove any leaves, dust, or anything that might have blown on while waiting for the surface to dry. Apply the sealer to the concrete and follow the manufacturer's instructions, especially making sure that you don't apply the sealer when the temperature outside is too hot. You can use a 3 8 inch nap roller to apply the sealer to the concrete and take your time to ensure a nice, even first coat. The sealer is really going to darken the stain and make those colors pop. I applied a total of two coats of sealer. Roll on the first coat. The concrete is going to be pretty thirsty, so you'll use more seal on the first coat than on the second. I'd recommend using a brush to get the side areas and around some of the hard to reach areas and crevices, and also to do the vertical sides of your patio. Let the first coat dry, and then roll on a second coat in the opposite direction for an even finish. Once complete, allow the sealer plenty of time to cure before putting furniture on it. Clean up in the meantime, and congratulations on completing your acid-stained concrete patio. I hope this video inspires or inspired you to stain your own patio. Please subscribe and head over to DIYPete.com forward slash how to acid stain for the printable instructions and detailed post. Don't forget to watch some of the other videos on my YouTube channel. Click on the left thumbnail to find out how to build an ice chest cooler for your patio, and on the right thumbnail to learn how to build a patio bar. Lastly, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Cheers, guys!